So this video is actually inspired by Wilma's comment and I thought it would be a great idea. Let me show you guys how I'm going to style my hair today. Let's take a trip across the sea Somewhere far away and just be free A place times don't go We can call it a paradise Just you and I Now wouldn't that be nice Oh, it's a paradise Staying up all night Just you and I Under the moonlight Hi guys and welcome back to my channel I haven't done a hair video in a long time And I've actually just realized that it's been a year since I did my last hair video that means it is time for a drum roll <laughs> check. If you do follow my channel, you will know that about 12 or a year ago, I posted a video where I did a big chop. So, I did a big chop. I chopped off all of my hair till about this size. It was this short. So, go back to that video to see that. Since then, I've kind of been trying to follow the natural journey, not really following it but also trying to stay on the natural path. It's been 12 months since I've cut my hair and it's time for us to do a length check. This eye looks a bit droopy because the light falls on this one and now this one looks a bit I just came out of the shower and I made my hair wet and I'm actually on my way out for the day so I thought let me do a video on how I style my natural hair. One of my videos that I posted, um, it is an average work day in my life, follow me through the day. One of my subscribers, Volma Swanapool, shout out to you girl. Thank you for watching my video and thank you for always commenting on my videos as well. I do appreciate it. Um, so Volma commented on that video and said, love the curly hair. Did you ever do a hair routine? Love your curls. So this video is actually inspired by Volma's comment and I thought it would be a great idea. Let me show you guys how I'm going to style my hair today. This is actually one of many styles that I rock. So I try and, st and change up my styles every time I style my hair. I came out of the shower now. My hair is partially wet. And that's why I've got this dookie on. Um, I'm going to speak about the routine in a second. So this is <laughs> This is what my hair looks like as you can see this there's, there's a bit of a curl, but not that much Yeah, before we style the hair, let's do the length checks So when I cut my hair in that video, I cut my hair till about here or something but my hair was cut very unevenly because what I didn't show in that video is I actually I cut my hair on camera and then I went back and I just cut off a few pieces. The few pieces that I thought was, you know, out of place, was too long. So I just cut it randomly and ever since then I've never cut my hair again and my hair has grown out in that style that I cut it. So my hair is still very much uneven. So... This is, let me see if I can comb this out. I'm going to try and stretch it also. So, this is how long my hair is now. It's still about here on my collarbone. Okay, so this is the one in front. Let's see how long the hair is at the back. So like I said, my hair is very uneven. So, ooh. Okay, if I can remember correctly, I probably cut my hair about here. And this is how long my hair is now. So this is how much it grew in about 12 months. This one also about reaches. Oh no, it's actually past the collarbone. So it reaches just above my breast. So that is how long that is. And if you look at how short I cut it, I cut it up until there. So this is, I think, how much my hair has grown in 12 months, about that size. This size. Shrinkage is real, guys. So my hair is curly and it shrinks up and you don't really see the length and because of the curls that is formed. So that's the link check and that is the end of today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like. <laughs>
that's just part one of the video. So part two of the video, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna actually try out a style now, where um, I'm gonna style my hair in a style that I think I last rocked when I was in school, if I'm not mistaken. It's gonna be the style that I'm gonna try out again now. I want to see if I can still do it. But I used to love wearing this style on school, so my hair was very much longer than this on school. And whenever I was lazy or my hair was dirty and I didn't feel like washing it, blow drying it and flat ironing it and doing all of those crazy things, I would just rock this style. So the style is basically doing little, I don't know what you call it, corners or something, here and then just pulling this hair up and having the curls fall like that. When it comes to a hair routine, I don't have much of a hair routine to be honest with you guys. I don't. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I try to follow the curly go method, but it's expensive and it's a lot of products that you need to use and I'm basically just lazy. I can follow it if I want to, but I'm just lazy. I don't apply any heat on my hair. What I do in the mornings is I basically jump into the shower See how it stretches my curls. I jump into the shower um, and then I make my hair wet and this is something that I do every day. So imagine going to work with wet hair every day guys. It's, it's, it's not funny. It's, it's not an easy thing. Also you need to be wary of your clothes. Your clothes are always getting wet. And I know I'm not supposed to, you know, with, if you do follow the curly girl method, they don't make their hair wet every day. It's styling products that they use that give that kind of a wet look or that keeps those curls in place. And believe me, I've tried to use those methods to keep the curls in place, but then the next morning the curls just lie flat again. So doesn't really work for me. So what I just do is I make my hair wet every morning and I just put conditioner on. And the conditioner that I'm using, it's something that I've actually come across recently and so I've started using this this month and the bottle is almost empty but it's a massive bottle and I love how this conditioner feeds my hair. I am so in love with the conditioner. The first day I put it on I could see a difference. And I don't know if because this um, conditioner is for dry and damaged hair, I don't know what what's the difference with this one. I just put this conditioner on, style my hair, and off I go. And that is basically my <laughs> routine, and that is what I do every day. So the conditioner that I'm using is the Renew Conditioner. Um, you can see helps repair, strengthen, and protect. And it's got like a little pump here at the top, which I quite love. So it makes um, getting the product out of the bottle so much easier. It's a huge massive bottle um, It's a one liter bottle and so I've had this for about three weeks and we're halfway through on the bottle Which means you can go a long way with this product. So once again, this is the product that I'm using the Renew conditioner with almond oil and shea butter something quickly okay radio okay so what you're gonna need is definitely a brush which I don't have you're gonna take your hair and you are going to make a path you know what I can't really see what's happening in the viewfinder I'm gonna make a path of your comb here one side and what you're gonna do is uh, this piece you're just going to twist around okay so you're gonna take it like that and you are gonna start twisting it up I think you guys can see what I'm doing. So you're twisting it up. Okay, once you've got a nice twist going over there, 
you're going to take a bobby pin and you're going to pin it in in place to keep that hair in place there you go first one done and dusted we're moving on to the next one I'm not so much bothered about the straightness of the parts for me that's not something but I think I do need water because my hair is busy drying just using this oh so heavenly water <laughs> this brush is just normal water okay. Brush it okay and you are gonna follow exactly the same steps you start off with a short baby hair in front and you just twist it in tuck it in and twist 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 Right, yeah, and the second one is done. Take your bobby pin and pin it in place. And so that is what you're going to do with the rest of your way. leave the pins on but you're just going to take it up and pull it up into a pony at the top so you take that and you take that and you take that you see immediately the tightens there but i'm actually going to use this So now you can actually rock this style just like that. You can leave it like that, just shake it out a bit and just the juice this year in front, you know. And you can walk like that. All you do is you just bring out the little babies on the stoopy, bring them out, and you can rock the style like that. Or if you want, you can pin up your hair all the way and you can rock the style like that. What I do is I take my fingers and I just rake it through so that the hair kind of falls in that direction. And then I'm going to take uh, my brush and just brush it up. I'm going to take a shoelace and this is what I do, take this shoelace, bring it over my, why does this shoelace feel so short, bring it over my ears and right at the top, okay, I pull it up and just keep it tight here at the top, pull it up more. Lift my hair a bit. Now you can just knot your shoelace, which will bring the hair even further up. And you can tie your shoelace. This is how my hair turned out. I just wanted to do a recap with you guys, show you guys how long my hair has grown. This is one of the styles I am going to be rocking going forward. I kind of came up with the idea of using a shoelace because I struggle to put like a hair tie 
over my hair like that without damaging my hair so using the shoelace uh, just prevented breakage all in all and it was so much easier to apply as well if you guys would like me to try out another style let me know in the comment section down below or if you are interested in me showing you guys more curly girl hairstyles i'll definitely make a video about that for you guys but yes this is how the style came out if you guys like it give it a thumbs up down below this is my go-to feel like i am in my trick again with this style but that brings us to the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and if you are new to my channel don't forget to comment like and subscribe hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification so that you are up to date with whenever i post videos so today's video once again goes out to volma swanapool thank you for motivating and encouraging me to make this video today's video is inspired by your comment guys please leave a comment on my video your comment might inspire me to make the next video who knows until next time god bless goodbye let's take a trip